Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another all the new foods that I got to try in this specific month, which is May. If you're not familiar with the series, every month I put together all my taste tests of all the new food that I tried in that month, and I compile it into one video for you guys to watch so you know what you should try and what maybe you should save your money on. Without further ado, let's hop straight into it. I was just at an event called the Vegan Woman's Summit, and at the event was uh, GT's Kombucha, um, and they were doing they were showing their like new healthy sodas. Uh, this one's the root beer. They also had a cola and a lemon lime. The cola was my least favorite. This one was my second favorite and then the lemon lime was my first favorite. Uh, even though I'm usually a cola drinker so I thought that one would be my favorite. But if you find them, they're actually really good. It's like 20 calories for the whole thing. Like, It's super healthy. You don't really taste the artificial sweetener even though I think there's a little stevia in it. They have like adaptogens in it which like Gotta be honest, I don't care that much about. But having like a healthier version of soda is pretty cool and it's really tasty. Uh, babe, can you open this one so I could? I don't know, I, you, they can't sh you can't see inside the bottle, but I can taste it and like re-review it even though I literally just drank a whole one earlier. Mmm, it's kind of like if soda was a little kombucha-y. Do you want to review real quick? Yeah, I'll taste it. This is Roberto's I, I, first try. I grew up. Uh, drinking a lot of root beer, so I'm interested in trying this. Yeah, I agree with you. It has like a little tang mm -hmm. to it. It smells like root beer, and it tastes like root beer. Root beer, but like a little kombucha. So, like, yeah, like, yeah. So, so. Wait, is it good? It's good. I, yeah. I, would, I would get this. I like it. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to let you know that this exists. So if you're drinking too much soda and you want a healthier version, you could try this. That's all. Bye. I got something pretty cool. You guys have been asking me to taste test this for a long time, but it took me a long time to find it. Y'all are crooked. I got them guys. I got the peach tahini rings. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so this is from Snack Club. This is family size. Yeah, a family of two, me and Birdo. They're gluten Gluten free and vegan, okay? It says nothing but greatness over here, I'm sure of it. And they are tahine chili lime flavored peach rings. Let's just hop straight into it. I literally just ate I literally just ate three uh steak and bean burritos, so I feel like a little sweet treat would be Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Would be nice right now. These are thick. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, it smells so good. What the heck? Okay, so on one on one side it's like a reddy orangeyness, and then the other side it's like a more yellowy color. It's sticky, it's not dry, it's like a little sticky. And obviously it has tahini all over it, so boom, taste test. This is so good. Okay, so it's a little different than what I thought it would be. The peach flavor is very, I don't know. It's slightly mango-y. It tastes like peach mango to him in the best way. It tastes like real fruit. It doesn't taste like peach flavored gummy ring. It tastes like a peach mango that you're eating covered in tahini, and it's so freaking good. Mmm, they really popped off with this one. It's tangy from the lime, it's sweet from the like sugary peach mango, it's a little warm, spicy from the chili, just a little spicy, just like eh, two out of ten. Mmm. No, I'm at, I'm at two out of ten, <laughs> I'm at two out of ten spicy. If I had to scale it on a ten, 9 out of 10 taste, this is amazing. Go get you some. So I got these gummies, and for the life of me, I could never realize how to pronounce this. Oh my gosh, the motorcycles are motorcycling out there. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. I want to say cat G's, but cat G's doesn't sound right. So it's probably like some sort of other language, cat G's. I don't know. Anyway, so I got these gummies, right? And this is a Shiro's one. I don't know what a Shiro tastes like. Does it say something? 
It says, you rock. So we can either eat the you rock flavor. Oh, this one also says you rock. So there's a pink one and a green one. Let me see, does it say flavors on the thingy? It does not say the flavors, I don't know. Oh, there's other ones. Is this like a girl power gummy mix? I didn't realize, yeah. It's a girl power gummy mix. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think that's a firefighter. This one says girl power. I don't know which one to try. Damn it. Oh, there's more, there's like purple ones. A lady fixer. A plumber. A con contractor. Maybe she builds houses. All right, I'm gonna try a pink and yellow U-Rock. I don't know if I like the foamy bit. Usually I like foamy bits on, on gummies. All right, I'm gonna try the green one. Mm, no, the foamy bit is fine. I think I just like the green flavor more than the pink flavor. It's pretty good. Nothing holds a candle to candy kittens though. Candy kittens is the best gummies, but these are pretty good. I think most people would like these. I'm just being a little picky. Let me try without the foamy bit. Mm. Okay, I know I know why I'm not enthusiastic about these. The gummy is a little not springy. Like your teeth sinks into it and it doesn't give much chew. Does that make sense? Um, although, that's only a small problem. Generally, I would say yummy, but not the best textured vegan gummies I've had. Yep, those are my thoughts. Toodles! I know I've gotten real comfortable on the internet when I get home from work, I wash all my makeup off, I thoroughly pick at my face, and then I decide, yeah, I need to shoot a video clip right now. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. We're gonna try this chocolate, okay? I actually have two, two flavors from this brand, Vegan, Vegan. And I feel like it makes a lot more sense to try this one because this one was like an exclusive flavor at, no it's not. Wait, is it? Okay, so it says Vegan's Woman Summit over here, but then it says over here, launching September 2023. Oh, okay, so I guess like the preview is special to the summit that I attended, but it's launching everywhere else in September. So which do we try first? I'm in the mood for like white chocolatey, chocolatey type stuff. So we're gonna do this one. Oh my God, it is pink. So I'm assuming this is white chocolate with like raspberry in it. It says dairy-free white chocolate, pink raspberry and almond. Wow, what gave it away? This one, it looks like the Main ingredients are sugar, cocoa butter, tiger nut flour, almonds, coconut cream, freeze dried raspberries, oat milk powder, sea salt, sunflower lectin. Those aren't the main ingredients, those are all of the ingredients. And we're gonna eat a square and try it for ourselves. And then we'll try the other flavor in this video too, maybe tomorrow or something, another day. Look how cute that is. Mmm. It reminds me of raspberry froyo. Like a raspberry, mmm. Like a. Like a raspberry yogurt bar. Cause raspberry is like tart, like froyo. I like it. It tastes almondy, raspberry-y, creamy, yum. People who've been on this channel for a minute remember when I tried Cozy Toast like years ago, okay? It was a long time ago. I got four of their items here today, so we're just gonna rapid fire review. First up we have triple ube pancakes. This is absolutely amazing. Um, at least it's amazing looking. Next we have a fig cookie and almond butter. It looks like this right here. Next up is an oatmeal cookie pear pie, which is this little baby right here. Now this is probably the most photographable of all of the desserts, other than the ube pancakes. This is a cookie cup with French toast, apple filling, and vegan white chocolate cream. Anyway, so yesterday I met up with someone for the first time, like we followed each other on TikTok and we wanted to like shoot this little video together. And when they came, they got me treats from Cozy Toast. But my, my, have they gone a long way because look how adorable these are. This is a moon cake. In all honesty, 
I had a moon cake yesterday, so there was two moon cakes, okay? That one was bean, and I don't know what this one is. Maybe it's also bean, I don't know. And then look, look, it's like a Kit Kat. They made like a vegan strawberry Kit Kat, and it's so cute. I don't know what this is, and it just looks so cool. Um, and we're just going to try them all right now. I do know that you're supposed to share moon cakes. You're supposed to cut them and share them, but you know, I'm alone right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and bite straight into them. By the way, Cozy Toast is with a K, and they make vegan pastries. Gluten-free and vegan, I think, or they used to be at least gluten-free when I tried them. Oh, this one smells good. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is, but it's good. It's like mildly sweet, vanilla-y, maybe almondy. It's yummy. The Instagram is so cute. Look at this Instagram. Yo. And look, they have other flavors of vegan Kit Kats. Okay, this is like the coolest present right now. All right, I'm gonna try this green one. Look at all the layers of dough. That's so cool. Mmm, it's like black sesame. That's so good. Okay, last but definitely not least. It tastes like strawberry milk. This is so good. A thank you to Jerry. And a wow, you guys have like grown so much in the past couple years to Cozy Toast. Like, wow. I know that most of the time I come on here, I review things like products, but I'm just gonna take a quick second to give you a recipe recommendation. If you're like me and you've tried seitan in the past, like making it, and it was an epic fail, that was me, two separate times in my vegan life. <sighs> but you wanted to give it one more shot, and you wanted a recipe that was on the easy side that still turned out fantastic, I recommend Sarah's Vegan Kitchen and her deli slices recipe because look at this. Look at this. And before you say, I could never do that, hold up. If you have a food processor in an oven, that's all you need. You dump everything into the food processor, you blend it, and then you bake it. There's no steaming, no washing, no kneading. Well, like, you kind of knead it into a little ball before you bake it, but you know what I mean. It's fantastic. And I've been making little sandwiches with it. There it is. Do you see the slices? Fantastic. I followed her recipe exactly, but I added two teaspoons of like chicken seasoning from McCormick. Amazing, tastes like, tastes like the to tofurkey lightly roasted one, the lightly roasted deli slices pack. Each serving ends up being under a dollar and like 19 grams of protein. It's amazing. So, you should make it. Goodbye. We have quite a bit of chocolate and sweets in this video, um, but I'm not apologizing because I'm not mad at it. I got this chocolate from Super Major, and we're gonna give it a try. It's a oat milk chocolate base. The packaging is very cute. I wish it was matte. I like matte packaging better, but I like the colors and like the bold um, choices. The ingredients are Coca liqueur, allulose, cocoa butter, whole oat milk. I have never seen someone say whole oat milk before. Is there less than whole, like, is there is there non-whole oat milk out there? I, I don't know. Okay, um, pure vanilla extract, sunflower, lecithin. It looks kind of like a dark chocolate which I personally like dark chocolate, but I know that some of you guys do not, as you've told me before. Oh, it has a very nice snap to it. The, the vegan chocolate we tried before was very soft. This one's snappy. Another little close up. Let's go. Oh, that's dark. That's dark. Okay, listen. Oh, no sugar added. That's nice. Okay, so I have I have opinions. All right, rewind. Let's start with the fact that 
When something is blank milk chocolate, I think it's gonna emulate milk chocolate. So I think it's gonna be a lighter chocolate. And this is not, this is a dark chocolate. This is for the girlies and everyone else who love dark chocolate, okay? As a dark chocolate, this is actually pretty good. I like it, I'm gonna enjoy these a lot. But I feel like they should advertise it as a dark chocolate. The fact that there's no sugar in here is actually really cool because it's pretty yummy for not having sugar. And you don't taste artificial sweetener per se, but there is a flavor there that I'm not quite sure of. Maybe it's the allulose. I do like it though. So if you want like to try some sugar-free chocolate, I say give it a go, but only if you like dark chocolate because that's what it tastes like, dark chocolate. Yep, those are my thoughts. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my assessments. And let me know what I should look for to taste test in next month's video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Don, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there. And and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!